Will the playoffs be Alex Smith's last hurrah as quarterback of the Chiefs? When things were going very well this season for the Kansas City Chiefs, quarterback Alex Smith was being mentioned as an MVP candidate. When things were going very poorly for them, Smith was being called a candidate for something quite different, a benching. That never happened, as coach Andy Reid stayed the course and stuck with Smith while prized rookie Patrick Mahomes sat and waited his turn. But Mahomes' time to play meaningful games will come soon enough, and that creates another oddity for Smith and the Chiefs as they ready to open the AFC playoffs. Smith, the NFL's highest-rated passer this season, probably is in his final days in a Kansas City uniform. This might be Drew Brees' last, best shot to get back to the Super Bowl. The Chiefs, the AFC's number 4 seed, host the 5th seeded Titans on Saturday at Arrowhead Stadium. A victory for the Chiefs could mean a return trip to New England, where the Chiefs began the season with a stunning victory over the Patriots, for a conference semi-final. But whether Smith and the Chiefs falter or somehow manage to disrupt the expected Patriots-Steelers rematch in the AFC Championship game, Smith likely will be sent elsewhere during the offseason to clear space for Mahomes to be the starter next season. He's one of the guys we're expecting to be out there said a high-ranking executive with one NFL team planning to be in the quarterback market. He certainly a guy we'll have on our list and we'll look into him and his situation. Smith turns 34 in May and has one season left on a contract that will pay him $17 million next season. Any team interested in him would have to trade for him. And it will be a crowded market that will include intriguing options in both veterans perhaps led by prospective free agent Kirk Cousins of the Washington Redskins, and rookies-to-be, with a highly regarded group of quarterbacks in a draft class that's led by UCLA's Josh Rosen, USC's Sam Darnold and Wyoming's Josh Allen. He probably won't be anyone's first choice, said an agent familiar with the way the off-season quarterback market is shaping up. But he will be somewhere. He will be someone's starter. He's a good player an unappreciated player. From 32 wham to leading the Rams, nothing about Sean McVay's rise is lucky actually, there have been doses of appreciation for Smith throughout his 13-year NFL career, that appreciation just never has been very long-lasting. He entered the league as the top overall selection in the 2005 NFL draft by the 49ers. He spent eight years in San Francisco and initially was regarded as a major disappointment. But he developed into a reliable quarterback, only to lose the starting job to Colin Kaepernick. It was on to Kansas City, where Smith developed a reputation as a risk-averse game manager who did what he could to avoid losing games but rarely was responsible for winning them. That made Smith a two-time Pro Bowl selection. But it took the Chiefs' 5-0 start to this season, beginning with the win over the Patriots to put Smith in the conversation with the NFL's upper-tier quarterbacks. The offense had been revved up with dynamic rookie tailback Kareem Hunt and speedy second-year wide receiver Tyreek Hill. Smith was making it all work, and there was early season talk of him being an MVP front-runner. Such talk ceased when the Chiefs went into a 1-6 spiral. Asked about the possibility of setting Smith in favor of Mahomes taken 10th overall in last year's NFL draft after the Chiefs traded up to get him, Reed backed Smith, saying that everyone on the roster and coaching staff had a share of the blame for the team struggles. The Chiefs righted themselves to win their final four games, including a meaningless finale in Denver started by Mahomes, and capture the AFC West title. Smith had his first 4 yard passing season and finished with 26 touchdown passes five interceptions and an NFL best passer rating of 104.7, putting him ahead of Drew Brees, Tom Brady and Carson Wentz. Even so, Smith was snubbed in Pro Bowl selections. Will there be a Sean McVay effect on this year's NFL head coaching searches? Now he returns to the postseason stage, on which he has thrived in the past. In six career playoff games for the 49ers and Chiefs, Smith has 12 touchdown passes and two interceptions. I think having been there can only help you, Smith said when he met with reporters this week. Good and bad, all those experiences, I think having been at this stage before, 
Yeah, I think you carry those with you. They don't make or break anything, but they only contribute. The Chiefs will have the far more seasoned quarterback Saturday, as the Titans' Marcus Mariota makes his first career NFL playoff appearance. I think for that position, that does help, Reed said at a news conference this week. Alex has been there and done well there. I can't tell you that we sit there and evaluate that. We've got Alex. So we build on what he does and kind of go with it. And then I'm sure they'll do the same thing. But it sure doesn't hurt for him to have been there and done well. If this postseason indeed does represent Smith's farewell to the Chiefs, he will do what he can to make it a fond one. The franchise hasn't had a home playoff victory since the 1993 season, when Joe Montana was the team's quarterback. It'd be nice to obviously break that, Smith said. But you can't add any extra motivation once you get to this stage. All the work we've been putting in as this team, from day one, this team and putting in, our goals and talking about them. We completed the first step. And now it's on to the second one, which is winning this game. It's tough to add any more motivation of historic streaks or things like that. I'd love for those to be byproducts of obviously hard work and getting a win. Read more on the NFL, Steelers Ryan Shazier regains feeling in legs, while Todd Haley has shattered pelvis these X factors could determine which NFL teams win on wild card weekend the Jaguars and Bills are having a Twitter fight about tickets NFL wild card playoff picks and Super Bowl odds. Jaguars and Saints.